Welcome back players, traders and haters and apes and retail investors, right? Everybody in the picture. This is your boy D and this is D's daily DD as for due diligence. All right, guys. So kind of an interesting day, right? Kind of exciting, I would say, right? Uh, a lot of volume, right? And AMC a little more than, than we we're used to. I could have seen a little more coming in, but it was better than, um, than, uh, than it's been recently, right? And then uh, I got some things to talk about how uh, it went away from the spy a little bit today, right? That's important. And I also want to uh, remind you that I'm not a financial advisor, right? This is not financial advice, right? So don't take it as that, okay, guys? And uh, yeah, something that I've been catching on to that I saw last night is that there's something going on with like the number four or maybe one two three four right from adam aaron all right guys so today we're going to put on our tinfoil hats because uh, i want to point that information out to you guys and show you what i'm talking about all right guys but it's pretty funny pretty interesting i'm like i think there's a hidden message right with the whole thing about uh i'll read between the lines and all that all right guys so i'm going to show you that information and uh, yeah we're going to take a look at the chart a little bit you know we got some confirmations that i think are good for some some more price action um but tomorrow i'm kind of trying not today was a good day you know but i'm trying not to get too excited because some information that is important for the overall market comes out tomorrow the cpi right um so i'll talk about that i'll show you what's going on with that so i kind of have mixed feelings about tomorrow all right i'm not sure if we're going to continue this uh, bullish momentum tomorrow with amc and gamestop all right um, because the whole market might be down but at the same time you saw today the spy took a dump you know and amc and gme were still holding you know its gains which is good to see um yeah so the market just closed and amc's at 1560 still a green day 4.29 percent all right it was green it was a green day for us today all right so that's what i'm talking about to all the apes all right guys uh so yeah let's get into this information uh now all right cool so i got you right here um you know let's let's talk about this first so um this was from a few days ago i just got some screenshots here right so i keep getting asked when pounce know this right so the number one i always keep my word the number two i said publicly a pounce would not happen before the second quarter of 2022 earnings are announced Number three, press release issued today that Q2 earnings to be announced on Thursday, August 4th, right? So not 4th, August 4th, okay, for some reason. They're saying read between the lines, right? All right, so that's one screenshot. Um, here's the, the new one, right? So this is from last night. This is crazy. So uh, it will be a packed house for our watching Top Gun Maverick together at AMC's Tyson's Corner 16 in the Washington, D.C. area this Thursday evening. But there are a few seats left in rows one to four <laughs> so specifically all right he's telling us that right so come join me for a fun time it will be the fourth time that i have seen this fabulous movie okay uh again reminding putting the number four again and up in there all right so i just have a couple questions right this could be a hidden message you know it's just a tinfoil hat idea but i got this uh drawn out here for you guys so here we go so why is that Marin talking so much about the number one through four, right? If you go back a while, he does, uh, in an earnings call, he did state it was um, about Dr. Strange, right? So he was like, Dr. Strange, Dr. Strange, Dr. Strange, Dr. Strange, four times. And I think he said it twice in the call, if I remember correctly. So what's up with this? Is it a share reference, right? Is, is he referencing maybe, like possibly, right, that the float is sold four times over? All right, that could be one thing. Just my opinions right uh the second one is it a four to one split right i've been hearing rumors about like oh there might be a stock split or something like that like, i i don't think so the float is already huge right i haven't heard anything about it you know we didn't approve it so i don't think that's part of the reason i don't think that's the announcement or the news that he's going to be releasing and then is it some kind of dividend right like an nft dividend a gift card dividend right a cash dividend what's going on with that right so some kind of dividend august 4th Guess when the earnings call is, right? So it's on August 4th again, right? It's just very crazy that, that uh, you know, it's in so many places, right? So I'm just trying to, to put all these pieces together. And then it says, well, I'm saying the squeeze dates. Could it be announcing the squeeze dates possibly in a way, right? Is the squeeze going to be from August 1st to August 4th? Who knows? So what is he telling us, right? What is Adam Marin telling us? If you have any ideas, leave it down in the comment, right? Let me know what you think. If you have noticed this as well, right? What's going on with this stuff? All right, guys. So let's jump into the information over here. So like I said, tomorrow's an important day, right? Because 
we we could take off guys we are at a point right now where i think the shorts are sweating right between 15 and 20 dollars the next you know level would be 1650 tomorrow so we can break 1650 tomorrow if but that that's only possible if we get good results from this right so what would be the good results so tomorrow the inflation rate may hit nine percent right so the dow jones rally pauses today there was there was some green action right in the market so Inflation may finally be past its peak with gas prices pulling back since mid-June, but that won't show up on tomorrow's morning's June consumer price index data, which is collected throughout the month. So it's basically always a month behind, right? So yeah, I, I have noticed the gas prices have gone down. Last night I was able to get, you know, gas at like 452 when it's definitely been like 529 or more lately. So I've seen that, but it's always delayed, right? So, uh, which is collected throughout the month. The CPI inflation rate is seen hitting 8.8% through Douche Bank. Uh, economists are predicting 9%. The hot inflation data will compel the Federal Reserve to keep aggressively tightening monetary policy, pressuring stocks. All right, so anything below 8.8, right? So here's another uh, estimate, right? So from unusual whales, CPI estimates for tomorrow. Bank of America is estimating 8.7, JP Morgan 8.7, 8.8, Morgan Stanley and so on, right? So they're all around the same area. So just say it comes slightly underneath 8.5, 8.4, which it's possible, but most everyone's thinking is going to be 9% or 8.9, right? But if that happens, or at least if it comes in like 8.7, right, neutral, the market could take that in a good way, right? And they could start, um, you could start to see a small rally, right? But if it comes in bad, comes in higher, like the market's going to go down, right, guys? So even though we have all this green momentum with AMC, I mean, we were still up 4.21% for the day. Um, we could definitely lose it right tomorrow. And if, if it starts to come down, I could definitely see us coming back down to the 1450 support here. All right. So I don't want to gas you up. You know, I don't want to give you false hope for tomorrow. Um, but then I think Thursday we could start to see another, you know, a nice little run again to at least get us back to come test up here. Right. The 16. We did see momentum today. We had good momentum. So I'm just going to switch up, uh, start zooming now. You know, the good news is that we're moving up, right? Like stair stepping. We got out of this zone that we were in, the supply and demand zone for a while, right? We were in here in this channel. Now we're up here in this channel, right, guys? So that's why I'm still kind of bullish, but it, it's in, it's just depends on, there's so much going on in the market tomorrow, right? So a lot is going to be riding on that. But it is following, you know, tracking this channel that I have between the two um so that's good to see all right and there was something else that confirmed i showed you guys yesterday um that we had gotten the the emas right the crosses but let me go to the daily this is the super trend tracker and we finally got a green one here now it could if it comes back down this is going to go away all right so we've already had four green days so um we could be pulling back tomorrow a little bit right also unless we see like a lot of volume come in to start pushing it right but this is the last time that this turned right it's been in this is the super trend so it's been red ever since here we're finally right at it we're, we're breaking it. that's why this is green now okay this is uh why i'm like so excited right because the last time this happened um was when we ran to the 34 level right the last time we got the green super trend what happened a few days later we had the rips all right so within a week or so um and it was in the red super trend for the longest time to rent until finally it flipped and again here it's it was red 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 for the longest time right even even though we tested it tested it finally we're here it looks like we could be breaking out of it right but tomorrow's like i said like it, this information comes out early in the morning so we'll know if it's good in the morning we'll start i think to see amc at least come test the 16, 1660 area, this this level. If we can break past that, guys, then we have room to run all the way up to this 20, right? So I think the $20 level is what we need to keep our eye on. Everything else is fine, the RSI, right? The MACD, it's all there. The setup is there, right, for a run. Now, just real quick, right? This is the uh, three minute on the SPY, right? So the SPY just kind of traded sideways and then fell down, right? AMC had a, a different day, right? That's what we want to see. We don't want to follow the SPY anymore. We ripped up, right? We had gains, and then we lost a little bit, right? And uh, this always happens after hours, so don't even worry. I don't really care. The algorithm controls the price in after hours, right, for AMC. So, But I, what I want to point out is just that we were not following 
the spy today okay that's that's good in my opinion uh i was just checking over so the short interest percentage has fallen a little bit but the price did go from 11 to 15 so maybe it's just a few shorts covering right um so that's interesting and like i said i show you guys this all the time because it helps me just keep my conviction right to not the price isn't the most important thing institutions shorting amc stock the most important thing to me is when the shorts close out right when Susquehanna starts to cover these 11 million when citadel starts to cover these 5 million goldman sachs right and so on when the shorts start to fall all right when they start to cover we had um what's today the 12th yeah today's the 12th so we had 1.1 million ftds that were supposed to be delivered today there was high volume today, right? 52 million. So it could have been because of the options chain and so on. You know, the options chain is loaded. And that's why I want to continue to see this momentum because we can we can keep crawling up, guys. We can put a lot of pressure on them. I think we go parabolic after $20, though, all right? If we can get to $20 um, the next day or two by Friday, right? That, that would be some crazy momentum. And the reason is, um, I'll, I'll tell you right now, but as of right now, it's because there's 86,000 calls in the money. Right at 16, there's over a hundred thousand. That's representing over 10 million shares, right? So um, let me just point out the last thing, right? We still have gas in the tank. And right now we have more calls in the money than puts in the money. So as we climb higher, there's less pressure, right? Because there's actually more as far as the put pressure, right? Like as we climb higher, there's more calls pressure. So the market makers have to go and buy those shares on the open market, which pushes the price up, right? and uh the shorting percentage has gone down a little bit right that's that helps us when the less they short us the better right we can start to see the price move up um here's the ortex data uh we're looking at 17 this one's saying 17.67 percent of the float with 138.56 million shares on loan that's still a lot of potential for a short squeeze guys so cost to borrow average is 11 percent with the max at 17.61 percent and uh yeah I, was, I just talked about that and then this is the options chain for this week right and uh today we were over 16 for a little bit so that's when we had these 15,000 calls in the money right but as we scroll down and you look at the 20 dollar strike guys 50,000 right that would represent 5 million shares right there all right so if, if we can get this momentum to push and go past get these in the money especially by friday we're gonna close above 20 on friday whew, and then it keeps going, right? Say, you know, we have a June style run of guys. You, you don't know, right? Like it could actually happen. But I, again, just, you know, I want to calm down a little bit. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It's not guaranteed. All right, guys. So uh, as we keep scrolling, you know, the $50 level has 13,000. And uh, the 145 level and the 100 level, right? Another 14,000 and another 174,000 at 145, right? So it's insane, insane volume. Um, all right, cool. So that's all I got for AMC. Just real quick, I want to talk about, I'm also looking at GameStop. So the reason it had a big push today was because it crossed over the 200 EMA. <clears throat> all right, so that's what gave it a lot of gas to start moving, right? Um, but again, it needs to cross, you know, it always gets blocked at between 180 to 150 to 200, right? 200 has been the, the point where it's been maxing out. Um, so it would definitely need a lot more volume, right? So that that volume could come from the shorts covering um because it is out of this you know macro triangle right now right and it's been testing it was able to break out and now it's still following this uh tr this uptrend that i've been <clears throat> following which i said yesterday right as long as he continues to follow this you know then this other stuff doesn't matter but it's pretty much a little flag right there right cool all right let me get some water All right, guys. Yeah, so let's just wrap this up. Got to stay cool, calm, and collected, right? It's crazy. 45% of the shares are in uh, are registered, right? And they have about 70,000 uh, in the till, right? Of the shares to short with, but the fee keeps rising. So 37.6% has been rising from 33%, all right, for, for GME, the cost to borrow, right? The cost to short. So that's good to see. And just this is the same thing, just the cost to borrow in a graph form for GME, right? And as you can see, they had found some shares, but the fee is, is going up a little bit, right? Even though we've seen a spike. And this thing is variable, guys. It could always spike back up, right? Um, it just depends on how many shares are left. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to cover today, guys, you know. Um, 
just some some key information right that i thought and again like uh, if, if you know anything about the four to one if you think adam Aaron's trying to say anything right let me know your thoughts all right guys so uh i hope to catch you in tomorrow's video guys i think tomorrow can be uh, very exciting right if we get that good news um, but it does depend on the CPI, right? The overall market is paying attention to that. Um, and it, don't be afraid, right? If we get negative news, well, it's just going to bring down the price for a little bit of AMC. But the shorts, you know, are screwed. They're they're, they're in a tight spot. They're in a corner. Um, as long as we continue to do our thing, buy and hold as the apes do, right? That's, and the GME apes do, right? We just buy and hold and we wait um, until the shorts cover. All right, guys. But that's all I got for you today. So peace the fuck out. <laughs>